Hi, I'm Tanisha Harper for Posh Beauty, and today we are at the Lincoln Center for New York Fashion Week Spring 2012 Collections. We're really excited to be here this season. We're going to take a look at the backstage, talk to some designers, talk to the makeup artists, see what their inspirations are for this season, and then we're going to watch the shows. So stay tuned. The look is kind of a really polished woman. She has gorgeous hair. They're gonna be some kind of turbans. It's I, I feel like it's I think of Stephen Mizell Italian Vogue stories from ten years ago that are always gonna be important and relevant. Um, you know, it's that kind of woman you aspire to be. You know, she's extremely polished, chic. Um, she's confident, and she's it's all about her lip. And her lip is a combination of fuchsia and violet. And um, the skin is really luminous, the eyes are shiny, um, and I'm making the lip matte to kind of, you know, not have every element be shiny, so. Very fresh, very springy. Okay. Yeah, it's, all, it's a lot of color for spring. I've, I'm, I've seen tons of color already. And can you tell me, what's one must-have makeup item that a woman should have in her makeup bag? Uh, this multi-use palette. It's called Bordeaux in the Snow. It's cheek and lip and lip gloss. And is there a favorite uh, mascara that you think is the one go-to for women to have? I really like the um, Girl Luscious Plumping. is great. I can't stop using it. Your collection was absolutely gorgeous. It was colorful. It was chic. It was sophisticated. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for the collection. Yeah, it's really just more about a feeling. This feeling of sensuality, femininity. And, and just really the female form. So I really wanted to showcase, you know, the exposed shoulder, the high slits, um, and do it in a way that felt modern, but at the same time, you know, very sensual, very relaxed, uh, but very polished at the same time. Wonderful. And how long have you been designing and showing here in New York Fashion Week? I've been uh, at Luca Luca since I graduated from Parsons, so it's been seven years, but as creative director only, uh, three years, the last three years, and we've shown in the tents when we were showing in the tents and at, uh, at Lincoln Center since it started uh, three seasons ago. What was there any favorite pieces that you had of the collection that really stuck out for you? Um, I loved. I mean, I loved the gowns. I loved um, some of the um, these like little, almost like a blazer that had these cutouts, and that you could see the shoulder. Um, I love the pant that had the sheer leg. Oh, that was absolutely gorgeous. When she was walking down the yes. runway, you could just see it flowing. I was yes. like, okay, that I could see myself wearing. Yes, yes, yes. So that was a, another, I mean, it's hard. They're all your babies, and you love them for different. Everyone has a different story behind it. I'm with Kelly Ben Simone. What did you think about the show? I mean, I love Luca Luca, and I just think it's really exciting to see that very sophisticated, soft palette and those simple silhouettes. I mean, let's be honest. Women look great in trousers. They look great in shorts. They look great in slim shirts, slim skirts. And Luca Luca, they know what looks great on women, and they want women to look feminine and gorgeous. And that's what I want all women to look is feminine and gorgeous. Like, I love the white shorts, and I like the, you know, those blousey tops and the jumpsuits. But as a person, I love those like very those silver, sexy dresses. They're something that I would wear um, on Housewives or I'd wear to an event. I just liked it all. I just thought it was a really classic, chic, you know, show, and I'm just excited to see that again. It's refreshing. Raul Malgoza, creative director of Luca Luca, and you're watching Posh Beauty.